Hi everyone, in today's video we'll be learning how to make a simple card component using React. In this component you can see that there's an image on the top, a title, a description as well as a button. And when you click on the button, it takes you to a new page. This is a great project if you're a beginner to React because we'll be going over everything from creating the React app from scratch to the HTML, CSS and JavaScript of the component. So if you're ready, without much further ado, let's get started. So to get started, you want to open up your IDE, wherever your project is, and then go into your IDE and open the terminal. And then the first thing that we're going to write is npm create wheat at latest. And what this will do is generate the boilerplate of our React app. So it'll first ask us the name of our project. We can write down anything. So here we'll write down react dash card. And then we'll select React since it's a React project and we'll select JavaScript. Now this gives us a list of commands we have to run to get started. So we'll CD into the React card uh, folder and we'll do npm install to install all the dependencies and packages that we need to get started. Once that's done, we can uh, write down npm run dev to start our local host. And then in the browser, if you go to the local host that's specified and you refresh, you'll see that an example React web app has been started for you. Now that that's started, if we go into the folders and files that have been made, we'll see loads of folders and files that aren't really required. So we'll begin by deleting some of them. So the first one we'll delete is the assets folder. We can also delete this public folder over here. Once we've done that, We'll go into index.css over here. And we will delete all the class names and styles that are given over here. We'll do the same with app.css. So we'll open that file. We'll select everything and we'll delete the styles over here. Next, we'll go into app.jsx. And we can essentially delete everything. So we'll begin by deleting everything between the main div with the class map. So we'll select everything between the two divs and we'll delete that and replace that with hello world. And then we'll also get rid of the use state and the two imports on the top. So we're only importing app.css. And once we save that, we see that we only have hello world on the right hand side. Next, we'll go into index.html and just change the title of the page. So we'll change it from wheat plus react to react card since that's what we're working on in this project. And we'll go ahead and save that. And then lastly, we'll add some default styling to all our components by going into index.css and targeting everything by writing down asterisk. We'll set the box sizing to border box. We'll set the default margin on every component to zero pixels and the default padding as well to zero pixels. And then for the font family, We'll start with Arial. If that's not found, we'll go to Helvetica and as a default, we'll put down Sans Serif. And you can see on the right hand side that everything is rendered as we wanted. Then we'll go into app.css and add some styling to the main div, which is .app. So for that, we'll make it a display flex. We'll set the flex direction as column. We'll set the align items to center and the justify contents will also be equal to center. And then we'll set the height to 100% of the viewport height, so 100dh. And we can see that everything is centered in our app. And then lastly, we'll set the background color to be slightly off. So we'll say background dash color and we give a value of hash f a f 9 f 6 and we can see it has an off white uh, background color so now that we're done with the setup we can actually go on and work on our component so we'll go into the src folder and make a new folder called components inside that we'll make two files firstly there will be card.jsx and make sure it's jsx and not just js because wheat won't work with just js And we'll create the CSS file as well. So we'll say card.css is the next file. 
and in card.jsx we'll close down all the other files that we have opened. I have an extension which lets me write down RAFC and creates the boilerplate for the functional component for the card component. So we'll go ahead and save that. Then we'll go into app.jsx and just um, add our card component here. So we'll delete hello world and add the card component and it will be auto imported by VS code. And then once we close the tag, um, we can see that the card component is rendered out onto our page. So next we'll go into card.jsx and work on adding the different elements. So inside the main div, the first thing we want is the image. So we'll add an image uh, tag and say the SRC should be an empty string as well as the alt, which should be an empty string for now. And we'll give it a value of card image for now. Now for the SRC, we'll go and use a service called Lorem Pixel. This is a free service which hosts images and allows you to um, fetch them by using their API. So you can copy this link over here on Lorem Pixel and you can paste it over here into the SRC field. We can specify the width and the height of the image. So we'll set the width to 300 pixels and the height to 200 pixels and save that. And then once we open our app, we can see that the image is being imported and rendered. Next, we want a title. So for that, we'll use an H1 tag and just call it card title. After that, we want the description. So we'll add a P tag and we'll just write down a long sentence for this one. So we'll just say this is the card description. You can add more details about the card here. And we'll go ahead and save that and see that it's rendered out. The next thing we want to do is add a button component to our card. Now we could go ahead and just add a button tag by writing down button. And then whenever it's clicked, we can pass in the on click prop and run any function we want here, like logging something out or changing the state. But we don't want to do this. We want to go to a new page whenever this is clicked. So for that, we can just use the anchor tag. So we'll add an A tag and we have to pass in a link via the href attribute. Um, and we can pass in any value here. We'll just write down card page. And then we have to write down a text for the link. So we just call it learn more for now. And then we save that and we see we have a link here. And when we click on that, it takes us to a new page. And if we check the URL, we see that it has the slash card page value over there at the end which matches the href which we passed in. So that's about it for the markup of our component. Now what we want to do is we want to add some styling to this so it looks a bit better. So for that, we'll go into card.css, but before we do that, we have to add some class names to our different um, elements. So for the main div, we'll give it a class name of card-container. For our image, we'll give it a class name of card dash img for the title we'll give it a class name of card dash title for the description we'll give it a class name of card dash description the button will get a class name of card dash btn and we'll go ahead and save that and then we'll add the styling for these different class names for that we'll go into card.css we'll begin by adding the styling for the main div so we'll say dot card dash container we'll give it a width of 15 rem We'll give it a border radius of one rem. We'll give it a box shadow. It will be zero pixels and 10 pixels for the horizontal and vertical shadow, eight pixels of blur and a color of hash 999. We'll make it a display flex. The flex direction will be column. 
can we refresh that and we can see that the style isn't being applied and that's cause we haven't imported the CSS file in our JSX file. So we'll go to car.jsx and at the top we'll import the CSS file. So below the react import, we'll say import dot slash card dot CSS and save that. And now we can see that some styling has been applied. Let's complete the styling for the container. So then we'll give it a margin of 0.5 rem on all sides so that when there are multiple cards, they're not stuck together. And we'll give it a background color of white. Next, we want to give it a height of fit dash content. And this just um, sets the height whenever there are some elements missing and this prevents any errors in the styling. So for um, the card image dot card dash image, we'll just give it a width of 100% and we'll give it a border radius on the top left and top right of one rem similar to our card and then zero on the bottom right and bottom left. Next for the card title, we'll just give it a margin vertically of 0.5 rem and horizontally of 5% of its parent. And for the card description as well, we'll give it a margin of 0.5 rem vertically and 5% horizontally. And since both of these have the same style, we can just go ahead and copy this here, add a comma and paste this here and remove the extra styling. And we go ahead and save that and we can see it looks the same. Then in for the card dash BTN, we'll give it a text align of center. So it's center aligned on the card. We'll give it a width of 80%, sorry, 90% of its parent. And this is where we had given a 5% margin on both sides to the title description because five plus five is 10. So there's a 10% margin. And that way the description and title have a 90% width, which is similar to the button we have over here. Now back to styling the button, we'll go below the width and give it a border radius of five pixels. We'll give it a padding of 0.5 rem and one rem. We'll give it a background color of blue. So the hex value is hash 2563EB. We'll go ahead and save that. We'll give it a color of white for the text. We'll remove the text decoration. So we set text decoration to none. And we will set the margin to 0 0.5 rem and 0 0.5 rem. And since that's being repeated, we'll just set it once and that'll be applied horizontally and vertically. And once we save that, we have the basic card component over here. Now we can see that we have all our values hard coded, such as the description over here and the title. And we actually want these values to be passed in as props. So we'll go to the bracket over here and add curly braces and write down the different props we want. So we want the image SRC for the image, the image alt for the alt attribute. We want the title, the description, the button text, as well as the link, which will be, which will be passed into the hrefs attribute in the anchor tag. So now that we have the props defined, we can work on replacing the hard coded values. So we'll uh, copy the SRC over here and replace that with curly braces and pass in the image SRC prop. And we'll save that and see that the card isn't rendered properly. So we'll go into app.jsx and pass in the image SRC as a prop. So we'll say image SRC is equal to the value that we just copied and it's rendered properly now. So we'll do the same thing for the other hard coded values. So for the image alt, we'll copy this curly braces and image alt. And then we'll pass it in as a prop from our app.jsx. We'll do the same thing for the card title. So curly braces again, so that we can include variables inside our HTML. We'll go into app.jsx and pass in the title. We'll do the same thing for the description. So 
so we'll pass in the description in the curly braces and we'll pass in the actual value as the prop next up is the text for the button so we'll copy the learn more and instead put in the curly braces and button text in app.jsx we'll pass in the button text as the value we just copied and then lastly it's the link so in the href we'll pass in the link prop and then we'll pass it in as a prop from app.jsx and we'll go ahead and save that and you as you can see the component is rendered the same way as before um, but everything is passed in as a prop now we want this card component to be very configurable so even if you remove the title or image it should render properly but if we remove the image source right now we can see that it's not rendered as it should be and similarly if we remove the button text over here the button is rendered but it's not rendered as it should be instead it shouldn't be there at all so for this what we want to do is something called conditional rendering so for example what we'll do is we'll surround our image element with curly braces and we'll add in a condition where it says image src and 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 this basically means that the element should only be rendered if the image src value is defined if it's not defined it'll lead to it being falsy as per javascript standards and it won't be rendered out so if we remove image src the card is rendered properly and we don't see the issue we had before and it works as we wanted to so basically we can add conditional rendering like this for everything so we'll go back into our component and we'll say that if the image src is present and the alt tag is also present then only render out the image we can do something similar for the title so surrounded by curly braces and say title and and the element you want to render out similarly with description and then lastly for the button we want to surround it with curly braces and we want to render the button if the button text is present and the link is also present if either of those are absent the button won't render out so we go ahead and save that and let's test it out so let's try removing the button text and you can see that the button is removed and it isn't rendering incorrectly as it was before so that's about it for the component we can see that we have an image at the top we have a title we have a description and we also have a button and when we click on the button it takes us to a new page and as we saw each of these parts of the card are completely optional we can choose to remove the image or the title or the description or the button using the conditional statements that we saw over here so that's about it for this tutorial if you liked it do share subscribe and like the video and if you have any other ideas for tutorials I should work on, do leave it down in the comments below.